Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's all doing good. I hope it's all doing fine. So today we are having fish and chips with peas and I've got the last of the corn soap. Also got two slices of bread I put there. And we've got ourselves a coupe tea. So before we get into it, thank you. God is good, God is great. Jesus put food on my plate, amen. And amen to the people in the back. Say amen. So, I've already told you what I'm having. Um, I'm starving. I'm hungry. And yes, the Marifat peas. I didn't have any um tartar sauce, so it is what it is. Mm. Mm. So today we're talking about, if you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. It's called American Sweethearts. You probably know straight away as soon as I've said that if you've heard about it. Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Well. Well, well, well. So basically, let's sum it up. Physically, mentally, and financially, these girls are being exploited. Physically, mentally, and financially, these girls are being exploited. By a multi-million pound company. I'm only on episode two, so there's going to be two parts to this, like this video. Um, I'm going to finish the rest of the night and tomorrow and I'll sum up the final part but this is in two episodes by the way guys two episodes that I've come to this conclusion of them being physically, mentally and financially exploited these are the words of the top notch boss it is these girls don't do it for the money, they do it for something greater. No, these girls don't do it for the money, they do it for something bigger and better than themselves. Excuse me, what? Uh, what? And even one of the girls, you know, they were obviously asked, like one of the girls, actually turned around and said and let this sink in let let this sink in to you if you're a young girl wanting to become a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader let this sink in see your friend work said Chipotle And you get to become a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And they're working 40 hours a week. That all in Chipotle. Working away. They're getting paid more than you. People who work in Chipotle, working full time. 40 hours a week get paid more than them girls let that sink in let that sink in
I find it absolutely disgraceful. I mean, how can they? I bet you these are the type of girls who are all for quality. Do you know what I mean? All for quality, women's rights. But yet, they are willing to be exploited by this big company. I can't wrap my head around it. I really can't. That isn't the only job they do, you know. It's not the only thing they do, you know. Some of them are nurses. There's a nurse, a veterinarian, if, um, one works in finance. One's a dentist. It's honestly, and they've got to do that job, you know, and then go to there and do that. Can you imagine being a nurse? I mean, that's a stressful job. It is. that I really don't know why you are doing it to yourselves I really don't I can't wrap my head around it the fact that they that they're willing to do that in the fact that they're willing to do it gives, you know, the Dallas Cowboys more power because they're not standing up for what's right. Do you know what I mean? I hope next year, right, like truthfully, honestly, because one, why, why is are the auditioning every year? Why not just keep the same girls? Do you know? Honestly. Why not just keep the same girls? I, that's why I don't get as well. Say so if if you don't want to get rid of the girls, why are you auditioning every year for new ones? I, 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 don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, there's one girl. Her name's Victoria. Her mother used to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader back in the 80s. Um, she, I mean, the the big bosses of the 
the cheerleaders. They were ripping her apart, you know. They were ripping her apart. Because even the old, like the, it's a call them the veterans. They've even got a re-audition. They've even got a re-audition. They have. I mean, they were pulling apart with Victoria. And then they were being all nice and nice to her, to her face. But they kept her on. They kept her on. They got rid of others, but they kept her on, even though they were bitching about her. And then when she asked them if she could become a leader, like one of the lead leaders, one of the top ones, they completely lied to her face. So you just tell her the truth. She's going to find out in any ways when she watches this. So why not just tell her the truth? Do you know what I mean? Mind boggling. Absolutely mind boggling. It is. I was annoyed after two episodes. Can you imagine what I'm going to be like after episode seven? Eh? Because there's seven episodes. I'm going to be raging. Eh. But I hope people who watch this come to the realisation that they are exploiting them and not to go in for these auditions. I hope this backfires on them. I really do. And do you know, they're not allowed to keep the uniforms when they get kicked out. They've got to hand them back. Even though those uniforms are fitted to their bodies. They've got to hand them back. And say like, why? You pay them tuppence. At least let them have a bit of memorabilia to make some cash. Do you know what I mean? Because I would sell it on and make a bit of money. <clears throat> That's probably why. Because I didn't want them to. I bet you they've made them also sign an NDA. I'll be bug off. I ain't signing the NDA. You're exploiting me, I'm going to expose these and I'm going to make as much money as I can. I 
ามีงานรู้ช่วงใครฟอร์ได้If I just wish these girls would stand up to them, demand a better pay. Create the revolution. That's what I need to do. Create a revolution. Stop bowing down to these big companies. The more you bow down, the more they win. Probably enjoy that. So that's the conclusion on part one. Part two will come the next day. I will, once I finish watching. And if I don't finish them all, they're going to be part three. They will. So, in any ways, guys, I'm going to get going because I've got to pick them up from work. I have. Not bad, okay? So, in any ways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this type of video, please press like, subscribe, comment down below, give it a share, boogie about, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!